Hello and welcome to time series forecasting. In this section of the course, I'm talking about the simple methods of forecasting. And in this respect, I talked about four benchmark methods. I talked about the average method, naive method, seasonal line method, and drift method. In this video, I'm going to show you an example of these benchmark methods in R. And this way you will have an understanding of how to utilize these benchmark methods in R. The data set that I'm going to use is the beer data set. And this is a quarterly Australian beer production data. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract this data starting from 1992 up till 2007 quarter 4. I'm going to save uh, this data set as beer 2 by applying this function window which extracts uh, this data set and the first argument that goes into this function is our data set and then we use these two arguments start date and the end date to extract any time period from this data so let's go ahead and uh, extract this data set we can have a look at uh, the summary of the data set and the head and tail of this data set to get a feel for this data set so let's apply various benchmark methods on this data set. First, I'm going to use the average method and the function in R is called mean forecast. And the first argument that goes into this function is our data set. And the next argument is the forecasting horizon. We are interested in forecasting for the next 11 quarters. So let's apply this function and look at the uh, the average forecast and remember since we are using what the average value that we observed from 1992 up till 2007 quarter 4 as a forecast so our forecast is a constant number because it's the historical observed average value so our forecast for the next 11 period is 434.375 in all of these cases Next, I'm going to use the naive method where our forecast will be equal to whatever we observed in the previous period. So the function is the naive and the first argument is our data set and then we can specify the forecasting horizon which is 11 quarters in the future. Our last observed value was 473.38. So we're going to forecast that beer production is going to be equal to our last observed value for the next 11 periods. And since this data set is seasonal, we can apply seasonally naive method. In this method, our forecast will be equal to whatever we observed in the same season last year. So see here, in this case, our forecasts are changing from quarter to quarter. So 427 is our prediction for quarter 1 in 2008. And this was the last observed value in quarter 1 of 2007. Similarly, our prediction for quarter 2 in 2008 is 383. And this was the last observed value in quarter 2 of 2007. So probably a better way of uh, looking at all of these forecasts is uh, on a graph. So I'm going to use this function autoplot that we have seen many times and then by using this plus sign I'm going to add another layer of uh, our mean forecast and I'm, I'm going to pass beer 2 and our forecasting horizon into it. And then I'm going to use this auto layer function which will take uh, our forecasting function as an argument and then I'm going to add uh, some labels. I'm going to tell it that uh, our series is mean and I'm not interested in including prediction interval. So I'm going to turn off this switch by equating it equals false. Next, I'm going to add another layer by using this function auto layer. And here I'm going to use naive method as my forecasting method. And my forecasting horizon will be 11. And I'm going to label this uh, layer as naive. And again, prediction interval equals false. Next, I'm going to add another layer using the seasonally naive method. The same thing as I showed you earlier. I'm going to call it the seasonally naive layer. And then I'm adding uh, labels for x axis and y axis 
and these will be our guides which will show us these legends so let's go ahead and uh, plot all these graphs okay so these are the exact values that i showed you earlier so see here our mean forecast is this red line which is whatever mean value that we observed in this uh, historical data so this is going to be a constant number throughout uh, the 11 forecasting horizon time periods and then in the naive method we forecast that our value for the beer production will be equal to whatever beer production value we observed in the last period and the number was right here so our prediction is it's going to be exactly the same for the next 11 periods both of the previous two methods are kind of not capturing various patterns in this series so hence we looked at the seasonally night method where our forecast is that the next period forecast will be equal to whatever we observed in the same period last season so see this method is capturing the seasonal patterns pretty well so see here our forecast is whatever we observed in the previous season which was right here so our forecasting value for the next period is this much and similarly our forecast for this quarter is whatever we observed in the same quarter last year which is here so seems like this method is performing relatively well as compared with the naive method and uh, the mean method so these are the benchmark methods of forecasting that you can use so this was the first example where our data was seasonal in the next video i'm going to show you another example of uh, using uh, these benchmark methods when our data has a trend in it all right i'll see you in the next video bye bye